What's happening? Francis Ruiz here uh, with Blood Cherry, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want to give you a quick rundown of my uh, killer gear that I'm lucky to be using every single night. Um, basically, I, I use Yamaha drums. This is a beautiful live custom hybrid oak kit and is the most resonant, uh, amazing sounding kit that I've ever actually heard and played. I got to set up uh, or play all the kits in, in their in their showroom and this is the one that just jumped out to me. And it's it's a it's oak kit and you can see here if you zoom in really quick, there's a uh, there's an inner ply there which is a phenolic ply which kind of to me gives it kind of like that sound of, of like an acrylic kit meets an oak kit which is already loud really throaty drum kit and uh, and uh, yeah it's just amazing all the shells are undersized um, which is something that's that's really awesome by that Yamaha does I don't know if you can really tell here but like say it's a 13 inch Tom um, it's just actually just a little undersized so that way your, your bearing edge is actually sitting true flat on the on the drum head which makes it very tunable very resonant um, you know a lot of uh, uh, other companies sometimes you'll see that when you're trying to put the head on this aluminum uh, rim on that's on the on the head actually is really tight against the shell you know and, and Yamaha doesn't do that they actually make the style shells undersized which is really killer but um, running a 10 10 inch 13 inch 16 inch 18 inch and I like the separation between these three because it's like a three inch difference in between these and then I got a 14 over here to my left, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, and right now I'm using, I brought two different snares out. Um, this one is actually a Yamaha Stage Custom. It's a maple snare, 14 by six and a half. But I was like, man, I just really want a workhorse that sounds killer. And, and, um, and, and it sounds great. You know, I've gotten so many compliments on the snare drum and I, I just really love it. It, uh, it sits in the perfect place that I want it to as far as tonality. And uh, it's really cool. Um, I also brought out um, this, which unfortunately Yamaha does not make anymore. But this is a Manu Cache signature snare drum, and it's a nickel over brass snare drum. So um, uh, just amazing sounding snare drum. And depending on the size room that we're playing, um, and just the acoustics of the, of the stage and the room, um, I'll switch. I'll go back and forth snares, whichever one sounds the most appropriate. So. Um, try to mix myself for the room a little bit too so that's awesome Evans G2 drum heads um, on, on all the tom tops G1's on the bottom and um, I'm, I'm using Evans heavyweight snare heads and this is the new one that they just came out with you can see here it has the little micro holes and this is the dry heavyweight and uh, it keeps some of those extra little tones that you don't want out the little overtones kind of cuts those out a little bit and, and I've been loving this head and they last, they, they last, they super last. This is the uh, regular Evans Heavyweight. You can see it doesn't have the little, the little holes, but uh, they're both brilliant, um, brilliant snare heads and I uh, just freaking love them. The kick drum is a 24 inch by 16 and um, just an amazing kit. This, this Yamaha does something special with this kick drum. Um, you can't really see it right now, but on the inside, on the lugs, they're actually weighted. They're, they act, actually add weights, which which pulls the kick drum to to the you know pulls it to the to the stage or to the riser or whatever, and uh, adds this amazing low end that you don't really get unless you're doing that. So um, it's you know Yamaha is always on the cutting edge of innovation, and, and they just found that that uh, you know doing that just gives it this extra low end, almost like a sub. A sub kind of low end that you that you don't get otherwise, you know. So excellent. I'm using the uh, the Kelly shoe on the inside, of, which you can't see either. The tray, the 91 mic, and then we got the the 52, of course, in the front. And um, Evans Emad on the on the on the uh, batter head. All the all the hardware pedals, all Yamaha, and uh, just just great. This right here is the. Yamaha EAD10 unit, and um, 
it's a unit that they came out with, and, and anybody that knows knows it's it's an amazing unit for for a whole bunch of different things, for rehearsals, for making videos, uploading to social media. Um, I actually am one of the people that run it live because it, it actually has different presets in there, and I use it for like extra reverb and ambience. We use in-ear monitors, so. Um, so a lot of times it's really isolated and I don't get to hear the room kind of sound. And this allows me to do it because there, it has a unit down here. So this unit is actually a, uh, an omnidirectional microphone that picks up the entire kit, picks up pretty much everything that's, that's going out out there. Um, and it also has a built-in trigger. So if I want, I can add a little kick drum trigger just to spice up my mix a little bit. Um, it has volume, you can add how much reverb or how much effect that you want and it's just been an amazing tool for me to use live because I have everything right here that I could just control it. If I need a little more volume, if I need a little more um, a live sound, you know, I can just totally control it without having to ask for, you know, uh, anybody to, to put that in my mix for me. And, and um, you know, and it'll change for song too, so I can always just adjust it. It's right there, handy. Um, Definitely check it out if, you, if you're not familiar with this thing. Using a Promark drumsticks, and I'm using the Forward Balance 5B. Um, that just makes a shorter, shorter taper here, um, which gives a little bit more weight to the front end. Because I always used to like to play the, the butt end just for the extra weight, especially on the snare. And uh, the, the lightweight ones just give me the feeling like the sticks are just going to snap at any minute. So the Forward Balance really gives me that. Uh, that, that feel that I need, so I, I really love those. Um, wood tip, and uh, and then uh, now cymbals, basically all Peisty cymbals. Um, I've used a bunch of different variations. I love all the different lines. I love the signature line. I love the, the Roods. Um, right now I'm running the 2002 Extreme Crashes, and that's pretty much all the way around. And um, they just they last. They sound great. Here I always have an 18. Um, I have a 19 here, a 19 here, and a 20 out here. Sometimes in the live, uh, in, the, in the huge festivals that we do, I'll switch the 20 here just to get a little more volume out of it. But um, mostly this is basically the way I run it. Um, and then I got a 20-inch Novo China, which sound killer. A 12-inch, and you can see it looks like a potato chip, but this thing won't break for anything. And it always, it still sounds great, but it's a 12 inch signature splash. The signature line again is, is amazing. I got a signature ride here, which is the 22 inch power ride. Um, thing just has perfect articulation. Um, it, it's, 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 a, uh, it, it's great for any, any style of music that you're gonna play. For hard rock, great bell on that. Um, and you know, if you're playing light ballads, it's, it's just an amazing, versatile symbol all around. Um, Hi-hats, you can see this one's cracked. I actually have a set waiting for me uh, in a few days. But um, I've actually been using, um, with the suggestion of Javier from Peisty, he, he um, suggested the 900 series for the hi-hats, because I like 15-inch hi-hats. This gives me a little bit more volume. And, he's, and he said, just try these out, you know, because I've used the, the Roods, I've used the Sound Edge 2002s, and, um, and I, do, I do play the hats pretty heavy and I play them a lot. So um, to prevent this from happening, the nine, nine, 900 series has been amazing and they, they've lasted um, very, very long. So, and they sound great. You know, sometimes if you're going with the lower line, sometimes you don't really like that particular sound that those have. But these sound actually great. They fit in with the rest of the 2002s and the signatures. Um, you know, something amazing that Peisty does. So that's pretty, pretty freaking cool. Um, using JH Audio in-ears. These are the rock sands. See the little custom artwork there. These sound amazing. And uh, any day now, I'm going to be getting my Porter and Davies uh, thumper. So that's going to be awesome. And then we're going to do away with this sub. Uh, the sub is is really great, but you can't turn it up enough without it feeding back uh, to give me exactly what I need. So we're getting the Porter and Davies, and uh, and finally, all those awesome cases down there. These are Humes and Bird drum cases, and just the most amazing cases that uh, that that you want to get. And they're actually local here, so um, but they're worldwide, obviously too.
the little name on it. Professional lining on the inside. He did the custom colors for me. He did uh, platinum, gray, white, black, and uh, with some aluminum shavings on there. So he's an artist. He can just do whatever he wants, uh, which is pretty awesome. But um, I think that covers uh, covers the whole rundown. Um, this is called the charcoal burst. I don't know if you can really see it on the, the smaller toms, but you can see it really on the bass drum. And this uzu finish you, where they bore out basically the wood grain, which is cool. And uh, you can really feel the texture and it's satin. And um, yeah, just an amazing kit all around. All around and, and happy, uh, happy I get to play this every night. And uh, secret weapon.